Hi, my name's Kat. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to Tuesday is Tuesday and today I am concentrating on the plan ahead for the week. So the plan for today is to continue with Pinterest Academy to learn how I'm going to pop all of my pins. I also need to work on my live schedule. I want to try and start moving from autumn into winter this week so i'm going to start with some little cute critters my owl my screeching owl that i did yesterday's live was very very popular so i'm probably going to do things like mice and bats and cute things i have some pumpkin collection stuff that i'm going to show you and i also want to add to that collection so that we beef out the halloween section on my website in advance of october can't believe it's mid-september already I want to get my blog post out and a link to my newsletter if you're not already subscribed to my newsletter you can do so by going to my website kittycreatesrainbows.com scrolling down to the bottom and with that front page and you'll see there is a lovely subscribe box once you subscribe please check your inbox because you'll need to confirm via the email that i send to your inbox the reason for this is because one it stops spammers but two it just makes sure that you're happy for me to send you emails to your inbox once a month because so much happens across a month often it's quite easy to forget what's going on so it's a really nice place for you to catch up let's get on with my day i thought i would just quickly introduce you to my bullet journal i use a bullet journal for pretty much every aspect of my life but this is my very simple weekly bullet journal for my business and all i do is i just put a list of tasks that i want to get done and prioritize for the week everything else that i need to do for my business is in an electronic calendar and then i also put in key dates just to make sure that i remember when i'm going live but as you can see i've decorated it with my stickers i use the bullet journal method so i put in squares and then i fill the squares when i've done so like last week you can see there that i had filled the square so everything got done as you can see here some of them are halfway done so i want to try and complete these today and then make a start on these hopefully tomorrow so these are the notes that i made yesterday i've just started a course going through the business side of pinterest on pinterest academy this is what it looks like come to this main page and you can enroll yourself onto the courses i've enrolled this is my course catalog and you just basically start from the top and work your way down and it's a really good course very useful especially if you are new to pinterest and especially if you're new to pinterest with your business so out of the 15 modules i've now done three of them i've made some lovely notes and next i'm going to take a bit of a break and i'm actually going to work on my pumpkins launch so i'm going to print off all of the pumpkin stuff that i want to launch and then I will have some lunch and get back into Pinterest. These are the pumpkin papers and they're great for like pen palling, writing letters to family, etc., and thank yous and things. So I'm gonna print off some copies and take some video shots and also some photos so that I can use them on social media and also on my website. So these are the PDF files if you print them borderless. This is the A4 file. If you do buy them off the website, then you will get a PDF format and the front page will look a little bit like this and it will just recommend that you print them borderless. That means that the color will be printed all the way to the edge of the paper. If your printer doesn't do this, it's still fine. It's just that you will get a white border all the way around. So if you do want it to look borderless, you will have to cut it. That's not a thing that I can do for you. It's just obviously in your printing settings, but these can be printed off as many times as you like, which is great. So what I'm gonna do for social media, Pinterest, and the website is just record a few little passing shots. Also take some shots of me writing some letters. So if you've never seen one before, this is a Cricut machine. It's a Maker 3 and it's in essence a cutting machine. It cuts with blades which are in here and you can remove them and put in things like pens so you can emboss. You can also do things like engraving and 
ink dyeing and all sorts of stuff. If you want to find out more information, I will pop a link in the description. But today I'm going to be making my bookmarks and I actually use some lovely watercolour paper for this because one, it's thin, but it also, when it's smaller, holds its weight. And the thing with bookmarks is if you are using a bookmark, it's better to use a thinner bookmark than a thicker one because anything that's more than say two mil will actually potentially damage your book because the spine will be bent. It's one of those things where it's a personal choice, but that's why I prefer to use things like watercolor paper and thinner cardstock because then it just ensures that you don't damage your book. I use the rear loader because then it just ensures that the paper goes through okay and it makes sure that it doesn't buckle. Also, while we're here, check out my lovely little stickers. There's lots of e-heart stickers. Got some wish art ones. Also got some really cute ones as well. This one's from Kathleen. I think that cut line might be a little bit too narrow, but we'll see. This is what's known as a cutting mat. And as you can see, you've got some black lines around the image. This is what the Cricut machine reads. And it reads that according to the mat. Now this is sticky. It's not as sticky as it used to be because it's quite old, but it helps stick the paper down. What I do in addition to that is I actually do use some low tack tape just to make sure that everything isn't gonna move. And I just pop one down the bottom and then I pop another one on the top and it just makes sure that it doesn't move while it's cutting. So you slide it into there and as you can see it is flashing for me already so I literally just press the button that will then feed it in and Cricut will actually just analyze what's going on so at the moment it is measuring the mat length and then we just press go and off it cuts. So I'm really happy with these. Look at how beautiful they look. Just stunning, really nice. So I'm gonna take some lovely pictures of these and add them to the shop. Welcome to Wednesday is Wednesday. And today I have just been live on Instagram and that was really, really fun. I cannot wait until I can go live here on YouTube. One of the things that was suggested on my live today on Instagram was because I game, I love gaming, if you'd be interested in watching me stream. So I know that gaming isn't necessarily everyone's kind of vibe or thing, but I'm thinking that maybe when I start doing my live sessions, I could just do a little gaming stream on one of my favorite games, which is Red Dead Redemption 2. The reason for it is because it has some beautiful landscapes and it's just really nice to chill. And again, my whole thing with streaming and going live is very much a relaxed vibe. I like to be relaxed. So if you are up for it, let me know in the comments because I think it might be quite a nice thing to do. My plan is to go live on YouTube in like a Q&A session, like painting along, that kind of thing. And then yes, the gaming sessions. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you wanna see on the live streams. Ta -da! So um, just so you know, this is the setup that I use to prop you on. I film everything with my iPhone. So you don't need like really expensive equipment and cameras. If you're just doing studio vlogs, you honestly don't need loads of fancy gear because I just use boxes to stand my camera on. So yeah, 
Shout out to anyone else who is also very much DIY. So this is pretty much my setup for live sessions. So I need to take some pictures, but I love this sign up. A lot of people really like it because if people are joining and I'm chatting and they don't really know what's going on, this very clearly says, hi, welcome to Sketchbook and Chill. My name is Kat, my pronouns are they, them. So that people, one, they know that my pronouns are they, them. They know that my name's Kat and they know what I'm doing. We're sketchbooking, we're chilling, we're just having a chat. I think it really like makes a nice vibe if you make a little bit of effort with your lives. Again, I literally have an old takeaway pot, which I carry all of my decor. I have a big box of decor, which I get from Hobbycraft and eBay and all sorts of places. And I just take out a little bit of what I need for the season. So this is my box for autumn season. And I just leave it on my desk so that at any time I know that I've got essential decoration. So if I'm going live or taking pictures, it's just there and I leave it on my desk. So this is what we got up to in the live today. Finished off my little mouse. I actually started this woodland mouse yesterday on yesterday's Tuesday's live and I added this frog today and finished off the mouse. I'm gonna pack all this lot away and then I will take some pictures. So. Here is the lovely little setup. I've just got my three bookmarks. This is one of the new ones. I use the same books every time. I use To Kill a Mockingbird. I use my lovely illustrated good, uh, Grey Expectations. And I also use my illustrated John Keats. I wanna try and find one which has some kind of like harvest so that, I think it's this one. Oh, see this one's quite good. Patient as a hen bird sat here, sat her there beside her basil, weeping through her hair. Thanks, Keats. That's perfect. That's the one that I wanted. With her fingers old and brown, she plaited mats of rushes. So let's go and take some pictures of this beautiful new bookmark. Have a look at these and they look so good so good look at the cut it's beautiful yeah that looks absolutely amazing i love it as a bookmark they're just so nice welcome to friday it is friday and it's the end of the week i have a very busy weekend this weekend so i thought i would finish the vlog here it's been absolutely brilliant this week went live four times which was just amazing and today on figure drawing friday i drew a sketch of diana the roman goddess so yeah so i'm really pleased with how this week has gone when it comes to live so that is fantastic i also released my new bookmarks so my pumpkin bookmarks and my woodland walk fruit bookmarks are now live We've got also my Inktober drawings up on my website, which is great. And as part of the Halloween release, I will be doing some very quick paintings this weekend and over next week's sessions so that we can get those ready to launch end of this month. And I cannot wait because then it's Inktober. So in next week's vlog, it won't actually be a studio vlog. My plan is to do a favorites video, do a little summary of how I feel September has gone and what we're looking forward to in October. So I'll be filming the favorites video the end of next week. If you wanna leave me any questions, have anything you wanna ask me, leave a question in the comments section. I will pick that up and I will record that for next Friday. So thanks very much for watching this week's vlog. I hope you've enjoyed this month's vlog so far and I look forward to seeing you in my favourites video next week. <laughs>